Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Wound Up channel. In this one, we're taking a look at a Christopher Ward watch. This is the C65 Trident Vintage Diver. Now this is a very popular new release from the British brand Christopher Ward. It's available for pre-order on their website right now for 700 great British pounds and will be starting to ship in the middle of September. Now this is of course, as always, an unbiased review, although I will mention that Christopher Ward has uh, lent this watch in for a few weeks for me to test it. Now this review will be structured as follows. So we will start by taking a look at its case and then the strap and then the dial and then the movement and then lastly, we will uh, put the watch on the wrist and talk about some of its pros and cons and then end the review. So let's begin by talking size. This watch has a diameter of 41 millimeters. It's got a nice and thin side profile. As you can see, it's only 11.5 millimeters thick. The lug to lug distance is 47.1 millimeters and the strap width is 22 millimeters. The case is of course made out of stainless steel. It is very well finished. As you guys can see, it's got different kinds of finishing all over the case, which gives off a nice three dimensional look and feel to the watch. If we go in a little bit closer here, you can see that the top of the bezel is brushed, which gives off a nice toolish look when it's on your wrist. Although the sides here have polished beveling, and then a brushed line going through the middle of the case from one lug to the other. And then on the bottom here, we've got a nice polished line and it all just looks quite great. As you've probably noticed by now, we have a box sapphire crystal, which to me definitely fits a watch like this one. The glass does not have any anti-reflective coating, but during my testing, that has not been a problem for me. On the back here, we have got a screw down case back with the Christopher Ward Trident motif, which is done impeccably well. As you can see, it's got all different kinds of edges and beveling going on to that motif. Very nicely done, beautiful. And keeping up with the vintage design here, we have got an aluminum uh, bezel, a unidirectional bezel. So that means it only goes in one way. It's a coin edge bezel that does protrude a bit from the case, which makes it incredibly easy to turn. The bezel action itself, it feels great. It's got just enough resistance, does make a great sound too. And of course, as this is an aluminum bezel, it will age with time. Now, even though this watch has a nice water resistance rating of 150 meters, the signed crown here is actually a push-in crown. As you can see, it's not a screwing crown, which to me is quite uncomfortable, although I am 100% sure that it will hold up just fine underwater. Just make sure not to have it on a leather when in contact with water, of course. Now, speaking of leather, uh, the watch strap here is what they call a vintage oak camel colored leather. It's got a nice vintage look to it and the stitching is done very well too. We have got a nice and simple brushed clasp with the Christopher Ward name on it. And overall, the strap feels great on the wrist. It's flexible, it's comfortable, it's, uh, it's soft, it's a nice strap. And also, as you can see here, it has got quick release pins here, which makes taking the band off without a tool possible. Now let's get into this beautiful dial. It's a matte blue dial. It's got the twin flag logo debossed here under 12 o'clock. And it's also got their new contemporary logo and very controversial logo here at nine o'clock, as you can see. Now I have to say that I agree with the people who do not like this logo. I don't think it fits this watch design at all because it's of course trying to be a vintage watch and having this very modern logo just doesn't fit the watch design very well. And also I feel like it makes the otherwise very clean and symmetrical dial messy. Otherwise, I really do like the dial. It's very legible with the big rectangular hands. And I do like the trident counterbalance on the second hand. I think it gives off a nice touch to the watch. Loom wise, it's got old radium super luminova on the indices and hands. It does get bright enough and lasts quite a while. The loom is definitely not on the level of Rolex loom or on the level of Seiko Lumibrite, but it does the job just fine. 
I will insert a video shot here of the loom. There you go. Now let's get into the movement. Now the movement here is the Celida SW210-1. Now this is basically a Celida SW200 movement, but they have removed the automatic winding mechanism. So yes, this is a hand wound watch. Now the Celida SW200 is a copy of the ETA2824. It features 19 joules, a decent power serve of 42 hours. It beats at 28,800 vibrations an hour. It's got a timing tolerance of plus or minus 15 seconds per day. And me personally, in my testing, it has averaged at around five to 10 seconds plus per day, which is okay. It's not on the cost level, but it's definitely fine. And actually the movement on this watch is finished to some extent as well. Even though you cannot see it on the case back, it is finished. I will provide a picture for you on how that looks right now. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it on my wrist and we're gonna talk about its pros and cons. All right, so here it is on my 19.5 centimeter wrist. I think its size of 41 millimeters is quite great because it's big enough for large wrists like mine, but it's also not that big for uh, smaller wrists. As you can see, it's a very thin watch, so it feels great, it's comfortable, it's a very light watch, and I do like the design of this watch. I do love its awesome case finish, as we talked about before. I think the size is great, and I think this watch is a lot of timepiece for your money. In terms of the cons, I only have two of them. The first one being its logo design and placement. I don't think it fits on a watch like this one. And also I feel like the watch would have looked a little bit better if the strap width was 20 millimeters instead of 22. So with that said, I want to thank you guys for watching my review of the Christopher Ward C65 Trident Diver. If you got any questions about this watch, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also like and subscribe if you would like to see more watch videos like this one. And I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye bye.